Morning, everyone. Um, today we're going to attempt to, uh, I say attempt, we'll get it done, to install these hand grips here. They're actually made by Vans. Um, they're the same pattern that's on the sneakers. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. I wanted some kind of rubber hand grip to try out. Um, if you look at my current grips, they are more than a little worn out. I mean, this thing's worn all the way through. Although this side's actually in good shape. But uh, anyway, we're gonna give these a shot. We'll get them off here and I'll try to take you with me and we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. We have plenty of uh, bugs to clean off the bike at some point too from riding the last uh, few days. So the first, first thing we have to do is move crap off the seat so we can get on top of the bike. And then, Now, if the videos I've watched are correct, we should be able to just put a nice little slice in this guy. Nice thing is, this grip is in such terrible shape, I almost can't make it worse. So we'll put a little slice in there. And then, I actually probably need to pull the grip housing, but let's just see how far we get with this. Either that or I'll just slice my hand open, and then you get to watch me rush to the hospital. Okay. This thing is so deteriorated that it's probably going to come off in chunks and cover my hand in rubber, but that's alright. Yeah, it is coming though. I just got to get a little bit better cut in there, I think. You want to be careful not to slide the knife right into your controls. However, mine are pretty old and they're not the prettiest thing in the world anyway. I'm going to get a screwdriver. Help, uh, Try that. So we'll try that with a screwdriver. See how far we get with this. So I'm finally starting to get it. Basically, just taking the Xacto here and just cutting around the entire diameter. Which is what it is, not ideal time-wise, but it'll work and then I'll just have to shave all the excess rubber off when I'm done. But it, it is it is coming, it's just not uh, not the smoothest process in the world. It's not not like they show you on TV, you know? You watch some motorcycle show, and I'm sure that they're like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, just pull the grip off, put the new one on, no big deal. Well, you know what? It doesn't work that way in real life for most of us normal folks and then they probably have some trick and they heat it up or use some chemical or whatever it is but it's nothing that i'm gonna go out of my way to research when i can muscle through this one and be done with it i did watch a couple videos on this and they were informative however not completely all inclusive because they did not mention this problem Yeah, the knife is definitely the way to go. Just little slices. All right, so I stripped the bar pretty good with the old grip. Um, when you do this, you gotta be careful to use the one with the larger diameter for the throttle side. So that happens to be this one. Um, if you don't do that, good luck getting it out. So we're gonna do the old isopropyl alcohol trick. There is a hole in the bottom of these, so you gotta use your pinky or whatever to clog it up. Put a little bit in there. Set this down somewhere. You know, on top of the bike, that makes sense. And pour a little bit on the grip. Smash in there. And then we should be able to just kinda push this fella around. Quickly, but not so quickly that you screw it up. And as far as using glue and stuff like that, I know people do do that. However, I've also heard pretty good luck not using glues. So we're gonna try it without glue. And if we have to, we'll pull it back off and glue it. Not a big deal. I'm running out of time here. <sighs> you son of a gun. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm gonna get stuck, aren't I? Shoot. Soapy water is also 
There we go. Keep going, keep going. All right. Now, the last thing you want to do, get that, let me get that all the way on there. Okay, that works. You got to get your pattern straight. You don't want this thing drying up with the pattern all messed up. It'll look weird. There we go. Perfect. You don't have a ton of time. You don't have to rush, but you got to move with a sense of purpose. And your pattern will never be perfect, but you, know, you want to get it good to make sure your throttle returns so you didn't jam it too far in. It's pretty good. This bike is going to be so freaking flooded. <laughs> you know, if you got a carb bike, turn your gas off first. There's an idea for it. That's a nice grip, though. I actually really like that. It's nice and thick. A little thicker than my, my stock ones. Cool. I'm going to leave that right there. Give it a few hours before you ride the bike. Let's uh, move on to the other side. Alright, so if we look close on this one, I believe this goes under the switch housing. So I got to pull that switch housing before I go too far with this install. So we will take our T25 Torx bit. Crack these free. Doing this one handed, so we'll go on this side. I just stuck the grip there because it was a convenient location for it. Okay, we'll do that one. Then there's one under here. Okay. Just take it off the socket, off the ratchet. We'll unscrew these. This is harder to do one handed than I thought it would be. One of the screws, I gotta get new screws, these are all rusty and I painted them one time, but it, it just, I gotta get stainless. Okay, we'll get that one off. All right, pop this guy off. Yeah, so if you look, that does fit under the switch housing, so you do need to remove just this part. Leave your bar clamp on, then you don't have to adjust your angle, your clutch lever and stuff. Um, I mean, you don't have to, but it just made it probably a little better. All right, I'm going to get two hands, pull this off. This is loose enough on my bike, at least. I will be able to just pull this right off. I was able to pull that off, no problem. This doesn't really have much adhesive on it. The factory must have just used that little bit. So uh, <clears throat> my new grip also won't go inside the switch cover. It's just going to fit onto there. So I might, depending on how this fits, I might use some spray adhesive on this side. Because I'm a little more worried about this one not sticking. I, I feel like the driver's side is going to be fine. So uh, I'm going to play around with this a little bit off camera and I'll get, bring you back in. So I uh, played around with it a little bit. I am going to use some adhesive. Obviously this is not technically the right product. However, it will probably work good enough. Worst case scenario, I pull the grip back off and I get actual grip glue. So I'm not overly concerned about it. I'm going to set you guys back up. Over here, I don't know if you have the best view, and eh, that won't be a good view. I'll find a spot for you. Okay, so with the spray adhesive, we're gonna get a little bit on the bar here. Hold on, nozzle's a little bit clogged. There we go. I'm not gonna go crazy with it. I'm also trying not to coat the entire freaking bike with it because it does it is a spray, obviously. We'll go inside the grips. With a little bit of it and then normally you let it set up and get tacky but i'm going to purposely do it now so that it acts as a lubricant and this should slide right on i'm going to just get rid of some of this excess out here so you know just jam it inside the bars inside the switch housing same thing we're going to get that up to the bar stop get your pattern straight i'd say that's pretty good let that dry and take the bike out for a rip later and see what we think of it I do like the way they look though. Pick you back up here. So we got the pattern nice and straight. Um, they're a little thicker than stock, which I like because I have pretty big hands. If you had smaller hands, maybe it be, wouldn't be good, I don't know. But I do like the style too. They seem to be grippy, so we'll see how they go. But that's it, it's a pretty easy install, honestly. Um, it actually mates, <clears throat> mates up with the switch housing really well. I thought it'd be a little more awkward looking. This side flares out slightly just because there's a little bump there on the end of the guard, but it's not a big deal. So it looks good. All right, so that was that. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see how this goes out. I'll talk about it in one of the riding videos. See what I think of the grips.